You know, when I first learned of the Drew Barrymore show, I got really excited. I thought, oh, well, this should be different, and I like Drew Barrymore, and she seems to have a decent enough of a personality. But then I started trying to watch the show, and... Uh, my God, she, she just she's just so she's so happy and excited all the time about everything. And I don't know, it's it's sweet if you like, you know, saccharin or aspartame or sucralose, right? You know, in large doses, right? I don't know. Um she's just she's just ridiculous on that that happy side. It, it, no one is is like that, really. And you can't tell what parts are scripted and what parts are really her. And there's definitely a script. You know, maybe it's it's a loose script. You know, you don't have to go exactly by it. But you just can't tell the difference between one thing and another. You know? And if someone just gives a, a, some sort of compliment to her, she's... Oh, thank you so much. I love you so much. And you're just like, okay, uh, is this person for real? Who, where is the actress? And where is the actual person? And whenever she's interviewing someone, I just don't seem to learn much about the people she's interviewing. So much of it is just about them congratulating each other on how great of a person they are. Oh, thank you. Oh, I, I really love all of your work, and you're just so great, and you're the very best I've ever seen, and oh, you're just, it's just like, ah, uh, stop. Just, like, be real for just a moment, you know? Do you have anything edgy in you at all? Just anything? No, it's stupid. It's just awful. It's awful. I don't recommend the show. I mean, if you want to see it and cringe, great. But I don't recommend her show otherwise. Thumbs down. One star. No thanks. But thanks for watching. <laughs>